Hello, we're stuck here in traffic on our way to Hollywood and Highland to Madame Tussauds, among the other, you know, things to maybe see there. And uh, it's a Tuesday afternoon, and I'm very excited to go visit uh, Hollywood Boulevard. It's one of those things, you know, that you live here, but you never do. So I'm going to go do it today. Let's take a little bit of the uh, heart of Hollywood in. Just this traffic is terrible. Hello, my Cocoa Puffs. I'm here at Hollywood and Highlands in the heart, the heart of Hollywood. I'm here where the Academy Awards take place. It's so glamorous, except for everyone else that's here. So the, I'm about the only glamorous thing here at the moment. See, that's rude. Just, you don't need to talk that loud. This, this whole place is just a tad too loud for me. But I'm trying to make the best of it, you know, kids, as you do, as you do. And uh, I, I, I noticed the staircase ahead of me, and I thought I'd take a little waltz up that very glamorous staircase. Unfortunately, there will be other people on it, but uh, we'll pretend that it's just me going to receive my Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress in a film that will never, ever happen. but quite honestly, it wasn't worth it. I'm nobody. Stop taking photos of me. She's gonna go home to her family and be like, I'm not sure, who is this? And they're gonna say, now what? Yeah, she's still doing it. I don't know what possessed me to dress up on a Tuesday afternoon and come to this place. It's, it's just way too many people. I mean, for someone who doesn't care for people, this is the last place I should be. I mean, I'm gonna visit my friends in Madame Tussauds in a moment. I've never been there before and I thought it might be fun. Oh, I smell the weed. People are smoking wacky weed out here on Hollywood Boulevard. Wow. Oh yeah, oh, I got a big whiff of the wacky weed.
you know, I have to say I enjoyed the Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. The, the figures were fabulous, but it was just too loud. Why does everything nowadays have to be so loud? Even out here on the street, it's just, it's very loud. It bothers me. You're bothering me. You know, at all, you're all bothering me. You yelling about water, you're bothering me. space where I can think clearly but I am determined to find RuPaul's store because I was here just a couple of months ago with uh, my nephew who was visiting for, for the life of me I could not find RuPaul's store so today I am determined to find that store. RuPaul I'm gonna find you. Finally I found it. I know all these people. This is my friend, Sharon Eagles. Oh my god, look, my friend Latrice Royale. Here's your ball. I love it. Ginger Mitch? Love Ginger Mitch. We did a show in New York City together. Hilarious. Oh, this is old school, honey. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is Ginger Mitch. 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 The Boulay Brothers. I went out to dinner last night with the Boulay Brothers. I took them out for dinner. They hired me to do a show and they paid me well. I thought, you know, let me take the boys out for dinner. Well, what are the chances? That's a fabulous t-shirt. You know what? I'm not buying it though. I'll ask them to give it to me for free. Because that's the kind of drag queen I am. But you should buy it. I know Laganja. I just saw Laganja at RuPaul's Drag Con. Fabulous. And a model was talking. And she was so cute. She walked by me. She goes, you probably don't know who I am. Like, I don't know who Lagange is, please. Alaska. It's Alaska. I just, I just did a show with Alaska, Peaches Christ show with Alaska. Let me tell you. I, you probably all know this already, but she's a real theater queen. That girl can act. She's hysterically funny. I loved her. so sweet. We share dressing rooms all the time. They always stick us together. Because we're both, you know, fine actresses. Oh my God, I love Alaska. I did a show with Bob the Drag Queen. Hilarious. Bob the Drag Queen is hilarious. Did you know she pissed herself on stage? Ask her to tell you that story. Hilarious story. Oh my god, Trixie, she has her own section right here. You know, I once did a show with Trixie, and let me tell you something. I had to educate that girl. I went to her room, she opened up a suitcase. She was coming up from Brazil. Hundreds of dollars, of dollar bills, hundreds of dollars, just packed in a suitcase that she threw in there. I said, girl, that is not how you treat your money. I don't care how tired you are. You take that money, you open it up, you stick it somewhere on your body where it's safe. You know, you gotta educate the kids. That's what I did to Trixie Mattel. She's got our own fucking section in the store. Where's the Coco Peru section? Detox. I got her phone number on my phone. I can call Detox right now if I wanted to. And here she is, Detox section. I can call this one Trixie if I wanted to. Milk, I don't know you, but you're adorable. This milk t-shirt. I don't know milk. I'd like to meet milk. And someday I will. I feel like a, a proud grandma, really. You know? Or great grandma might be the case. I don't recognize cuz, but I'm, I'm living for it. I'm loving it. Whoever you are and your imaginary flute, you know? It's just improv. This one. Improv playing the flute. That's something to celebrate. What's happening? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> Where do I balance? I need some balance. Does that, I cannot find where I balance. I'd like to get the hell out of here when I'm trapped in fucking hell. Too many people.
a nice time at Madame Tussauds visiting you. Celebrity friends. Anyway, I had a marvelous time. I'm glad I'm not dealing with the people anymore. Uh, and then I found RuPaul's store. Michael, how fabulous is that? I mean, think about when I created Coco. Back then, drag. Would you ever think there'd be a TV show? The drag would be so mainstream. You have your, a store selling merch. My friends sell their merch, as they like to call it, in a store. It's marvelous. I need a show. I need a show. I need my conversations with Coco Michael, where I talk to celebrities, figure out their journey, how they got from there to here. Because everybody has a story. And when you tell your story, you inspire other people to think about their own story. That's what we need on television. Coco, having heart-to-heart -heart conversations with other people. And uh, I'm never going back to Hollywood Boulevard ever again, unless I need to buy a Latrice Royale chocolate bar. I'm exhausted. It takes a lot of out of me to walk around with all those tourists coming at me. Anyway, um, thank you for uh, taking a little tour of Holly Hollywood and Highland with me. All right. I'm just going to keep blabbing because I don't know what else to say. Bye. Oh, that's good. Bye. Eddie, I love this. I love this. Finally, a change. Something different. You spruced it up, Eddie. I love it. It's falling. Like